Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna make some blueberry pancakes and some chocolate chip pancakes. Super easy to do, especially if you already have like the pancake mix. Eventually I'll probably make a video where um, you can actually, I'll, I'll make it from scratch with just flour. It's, it's not complicated, it's super easy. So pretty much what it says on the instructions here is like what? Two parts flour of whatever pancake flour this is to one and a half parts water. So pretty much probably put water up until here. Like around there. It's a little too cold, so I'm not adding some other kind. It's a little bit more than I need, but I just won't put it all in there. And you mix. Super easy. Then after this is mixed, I'll get the pan preheated. Shoot, I should have just mixed it in one of these. Would have been a lot easier to pour out. It's all good though. I'm always trying to find ways to dirty less dishes, you know? Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's really that easy. That, being patient, because I had a bad habit of, you know, not letting my pancake cook for long enough. But now I'm learning. So let's pull out a griddle, nonstick pan, get this to medium heat. Meanwhile, I can, you know, Get the blueberries out and the chocolate chips out. Frozen blueberries work fine. Especially, you know, blueberries are an ideal fruit to put in it, especially if they're frozen, because since they're so small, they'll cook really quickly, right? If you put like large frozen fruits in there, it's not gonna, you know, defrost in time. You're gonna have to let them defrost before you add them to your, you know, to your pancakes. But blueberries work just fine because they're small. And let's get some chocolate chips. Yeah, this looks good. Let's look at the recipe. Oh, let stand for one or two minutes. Pour slightly less than a quarter cup of batter for each pancake. Cook for 90 seconds on the first side, turn and cook for near 60. Well, we'll, let's see if that works. Sure it will though. I don't got butter, but I got this country crock sped, which will work, this is what I usually use. Uh, let's see. Should I do a banana on one? Yeah, let's do a banana on one. So these are bananas from Hawaii. These are Hawaiian bananas. I forgot what the name of them are, but they're really good, really sweet. So let me pull out a cutting board. Make this a little easier. You know what, I just might mix it into the batter. Yeah, let's just do that. Just cutting it thinly. I'm gonna actually mix this in with the batter. Because blueberries and banana, they go well with each other. Um, bananas with chocolate go well with each other. So. Might as well use it, right? see there you go feels warm enough add a little bit of butter well it's technically not butter but vegetable shortening 
margarine, fake butter, whatever you want to call it. But I think it tastes good. Okay. Then layer. A little bit too much. Spread it out. Then I'll add the blueberries right now. A little too high. Let me turn it down. Don't want it to burn. I like big pancakes. Some blueberries on top. Just sprinkle them in so they're more evenly distributed. Don't want to overdo it because I want to make sure they all cook through. So. That looks good to me. One more. There you go, so they said 90 seconds. It's probably been like about 20 seconds. You know, I'll wash some dishes, let that go by. I wanted to get that nice golden brown crust. Okay, let's wash these dishes. Again, I've said it in plenty of other videos and I'll keep saying it. Wash your dishes while you cook, you know? It's nice to have things clean, and then it keeps you from playing with your food. You know, you wanna give it, sometimes, like certain foods, like pancakes, meats, stuff that needs to have, you want it to get it golden brown and crispy. Get that, you know, that Maillard effect where, like it gets golden brown color. If you keep messing with it, it's gonna take much longer to develop that color. So, you know, why not just wash your dishes? I know you have some in there, so. Makes it a lot easier to pass the time. Had two coffees this morning. Got some Starbucks with the wife after after the gym, so. Had made some French press coffee this morning and had another one right now. So, pretty wired. I should have set a timer but I didn't but I know one way to test if it's coming out good is if you see bubbles let's see let's see how this oh it's still not brown enough I'm gonna let it cook you want to be patient with your pancakes you don't want you know pancakes that are still uncooked in the middle when you bite into them and see how the blueberries are cooking. Another thing you can do to speed up the process, like if you want the, to trap some of the heat, put some foil paper over it. Works really well as well. You know? Mix, especially I don't have a lid for that pan, so I just use foil. You can also do that with eggs, and it'll help like the white set. Because essentially you're trapping the steam inside or the heat inside the equivalent of like you know you maybe you're in a hot car and you have the windows up you don't have the ac it's gonna be a lot hotter but if you put the windows down yeah you're gonna get that cool breeze I'll actually put these right here okay i think it is 90. let's see how this is nope still needs a little bit more time but it's an easy breakfast. This was some eggs, some avocado. Yeah, let's let's see which one's ready. This one's ready. This one's a lot softer. Should be ready shortly. Right after washing this dish, be ready to flip. I like my pancakes a little bit more golden brown. Don't like them too light. Some people do, I don't. But you can make it however you want. Okay, yeah, this looks like it's ready. Let's see. Yeah, that could have been a little longer, but that works. 
big old pancake right there. Let it do its thing. And then wash the rest of these. Coffee grounds into the trash. And there you go. Got the majority. So it's gonna cook a lot quicker on the other side. Oh, you know what? I could have added some vanilla extract to the the batter. Would have been a lot, you know, tastier, but eh, it is what it is. It'll be fine. Pancakes and eggs. Super easy breakfast. It reminds me of being a kid. Remember every weekend my mom would make us pancakes for breakfast and I was just so excited for it. You know. Put some jam, some butter on it. Super, super good memories. Thanks, Mom. Shout out to you. Gracias por los pancakes every Sunday, Saturday, Sunday morning. And that's a, that was back in the time where I used to drink milk. I don't really drink milk no more. Let's see. Okay. Let's see how this is coming along. I think it should. I'll still give it a little bit more time. It'll be ready soon. Scrape the edges right here. So we don't got that much pancake batter left. Maybe two smaller pancakes, maybe one big one. It's all good, this will work. Again, wash your dishes as you go. Again, let me know if there's anything particular you guys want me to make, learn how to make. Always interested in trying new things. Because I kind of do get in my routine, have the same pantry staples, and I make variations on them. But I think it does help save money, you know, having flour, beans, rice, and just kind of building recipes from there. But I do like to expand. So, yeah, after I finish washing this one, the pancake should be ready. Next one will be a chocolate chip one. There you go. Let's look at that color. Yeah, there you go. It's good. That works. Okay, add a little bit more butter. Or vegetable oil spread as it technically is called. Works as a substitution for butter though. Get nice and incorporated. Yeah, I'll do two smaller ones right here. This one will probably cook a lot faster because the pan's already preheated and it is a bit thinner. Add some chocolate chips. You know, now that I'm growing the concept of like pancakes for breakfast, just it's kind of weird to me. You know, but hey, tastes good. So, yeah, let's do it. There you go. Dishes are washed. Don't need this no more. Have enough for one more pancake. I'm gonna have the blueberry one. I'm gonna give Jackie one of the chocolate chip ones and this baby blueberry one. 
probably won't even need all the blueberries. Meanwhile, make a quick little mashed avocado. So guacamole is really simple. It's literally the base. All you really need is avocado, a ripe avocado and salt. Traditionally though, you would add, um, let's see, serrano or jalapeno chili peppers in, with it, or an and tomato, purple onion or white onion works as well. And let's see what else. And cilantro, salt, and some pepper, and you're good to go. But a really basic one, just this, salt, pepper, it's really all you need. Maybe later when I do like a carne asada video, I'll make a proper guacamole. I like having some avocado with my eggs. Hoping I don't burn that pancake. Just a little bit of salt. Salt just really brings out the flavor of avocado. Quite the difference. Okay, still can use a little bit more. Then you just mash it. You can use a fork, a spoon. Fork probably works a lot better. But spoon works. Just using a spoon because I'm gonna use it to scoop it as well. I'll probably add some black pepper to this. I've seen some people add some olive oil for richness. I mean, there's absolutely no need in my opinion. And my family didn't never told me to try that, but I've seen other people do that. Um, I guess olive oil would work well if like the avocado isn't too ripe, you know? Cause if it's ripe, you get that creamy creaminess effect right there. If it's not, kind of harder to get that so you can probably add it so add some black pepper Pull out some eggs that pancake should be ready not the cutest pancake but doesn't matter if it's not cute. As long as it tastes good, that's what matters. Say in a restaurant. I mean, with restaurants, you want to make sure your food looks good, tastes good, but it is what it is. Let's put these away. Don't need these anymore. When you're ziplocking your bags, try to push out all the air. Air is your enemy for foods. Makes them go bad sooner. Even though chocolate is pretty shelf stable for quite a while, still you want to do that. Um, do invest, I recommend investing into a vacuum sealer. Got one up here, works really well. Just a side little tip, you know, see. This was it already came vacuum sealed, but I would buy meat and I would vacuum seal it myself. It lasts two to three times longer in the fridge. I think, I think in the freezer, normally if you just throw in a Ziploc bag, it gets freezer burn within maybe a few weeks to a month. But if you vacuum seal it, it won't get any freezer burn unless it was improperly sealed. Like if you didn't get all the, you know, all the air out. And then also I hear that it makes your, you can, your meat can last in the freezer for six to 12 months, even to two years I've heard. Never tried it. Meat never lasts longer than a, a month or two in the fridge. I do in the freezer, um, I do buy in bulk, so it's a lot cheaper. So I just kind of portion it out, but just a tip out there, you know, it's worth getting a vacuum sealer. Okay, let's see. That one's good. And time for the last one.
And this last one is gonna be blueberries with whatever batter is left. It's gonna be a quick one, I bet. It's gonna be a baby one. And then the cool thing, I can use the same pan to cook the eggs in. So let's put that together. There you go. Let that do its thing. A few blueberries on here. The rest of the blueberries I'll probably add back to the bag. No, Jackie likes blueberries, so I'm giving her a little extra right here. That looks good. Cover it, cooks a lot faster. Oh, I can't open this bag of blueberries. There you go. Put it away. And let's see. Still need some time. Put this away. You know what? I'll probably use this for the eggs right now. Make me probably like three eggs. Jackie two. Looks, still needs a little bit more time. Mix in the rest of this pepper. Drink some of this coffee. Breakfast will be ready in a second. And, F, and all the dishes will be washed too. Wash your dishes as you cook. And make it a lot easier. Because then once you eat, you finish cooking, like, are you tired, get sleepy, get the itis, or you just don't want to cook no more, you just want to rest. So get it done while you're standing up, instead of just standing around and being on your phone. So you'll thank, for your, you'll thank yourself for it. Okay, I'm gonna finish washing this one, then go flip the next. on this pancake yeah that's ready it's not fully browned because I added a little bit extra butter if you don't put too much butter it gets like that thick brown crust that even brown crust but hey okay. butter and oil and fat it's a bunch of flavor makes it taste better Wash your dishes, guys. And if you don't like the, the dishwashing, feel free. Fast forward a few seconds, but I heard, you know, my wife was telling me that there's, told her about how like I watch dishes and videos and wonder if like how people feel about it. Did get a nice comment recently from some nice Finnish guy. Thank you for watching my videos. I like the whole fact that I'm washing and cleaning. My wife does too, but she said that on TikTok that there's this whole community called Clean Talk that they just, they're just TikTok videos of people cleaning. So, I guess people, some people like it. I know it makes me feel like much more calm and at ease when, when I clean. So, 
and that is ready. There you go. Now cover those so they stay warm. Pro tip, you know, if you're waiting for your, everything else to finish up, put your food in the microwave, don't turn it on. I literally just put some foil in there. You'll burn your house down, don't do that. <laughs> but you can leave it in there so it doesn't get cold. Well, I should have gotten rid of the, the spoon. I'm gonna put all three eggs in here for me. Okay, the egg trick, I've said it before, crack your egg amongst another egg. Um, it'll result in less eggshells being lost into here. Actually, since I started this method, um, I haven't lost a single eggshell on onto like, you know, the pan. See? And I want mine runny with the white set. So, what you can do, throw a little bit of moisture. See how I just got that water in there? I mean, this is my food, so I can do whatever I want with it. But if you want to grab it from like a cup of water, you can do that and then cover it. And then it's gonna help the white set a lot faster. But don't forget to salt your eggs. Add some pepper. I pop this part right there. We want as much as the egg having contact with the pan. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. And there you go. Let it do its thing. And now we just wait for the egg to finish. Some pancakes, some eggs, some avocado. Breakfast, what more do you want? Super easy. One of my other favorite breakfast dishes are my oatmeal. Put a bunch of peanut butter, protein in there. Super quick and easy, all you need is a microwave. Maybe I'll do that video. Seems kind of straightforward and a little bit too easy, so. But, eh, it is what it is. Yeah, let me add a little bit more water. Might be a little too much. Let's see. That'll be good. Really want it to set. I don't want to even have to flip the eggs. Might as well fill up my water bottle while I wait. So yeah, for soon, sooner or later, I'm gonna make another video with actual flour. Make my own pancake mix. Cause to be honest, you guys don't need to be buying pancake mix. The only reason we have that box of pancake mix is cause my wife was like, I want, I want buttermilk pancakes. And I was like, go for it. But normally I would rather make it by scratch. There you go, look at that. It's starting to set. Mmm, smells so good. Some banana pancakes with blueberries and chocolate chips. Um, let's see. Some Cholula hot sauce for after. You know, to top it. Some jam, because I know Jackie likes jam on her pancakes. You know, if you have Costco, this jam is really good because let's look at the um, ingredients. Fresh organic strawberries, organic cane sugar, fruit pectin, and citric acid. Compared to all the other ones, there's some that have like tons and tons of ingredients. This one, at least you can see the first thing is strawberries and organic cane sugar. Whereas some might have that, you know, what's that one sugar that everybody is always afraid of? High fructose corn syrup? Yeah, I'm sure. 
I don't know much about it, but if I could get cane sugar instead, I would. And there you go, look. It's looking good. I'm gonna let it kind of get crispy around the edges, just a little bit more, and then I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's serve my pancakes. So for Jackie, she likes pancakes. Those two are for her. That'll be for me. She gets two eggs, two pancakes. I get three eggs, one super large pancake. Okay, this is good. fire okay don't need that anymore there you go again crack your eggs with each other I didn't come up with this I learned it from some other youtuber forgot who but it works really well. See, I just cracked it on the thing right here. And fortunately, I didn't lose any. But there's more like loose shells compared to this one. These are all kind of connected. I don't know. It's a cleaner hit. Cleaner break. Jackie does not like runny yolks. So I always had to break them for her. Funny thing is, her dad loves them. Runny. Shout out to my suegro, Oscar, for having run and liking the runny yolks, like me. Cover it to help, help it cook a lot faster. Throw these out. Start cleaning up. And we'll be ready to eat shortly. Just back in the fridge. pancakes right here. Sure, the blueberries. I'm sure she wants to see them. Serve the guac for myself. And one for Jackie right now. Alright, let's, let's see if I can flip this. I like practicing over my sink because then if you mess it up, it's not too bad. So what you want to do, it's not like a, it's kind of like a forward and then it's like a flip. There you go. It wasn't as clean as I would like it to be, but eh, got it done. Practice makes perfect. You know, and you could practice doing this with a dry pan, cold, not hot with some beans. Some dry beans, just put them in there, just, you know, it's like a little flick motion. Kind of like if you're potting some soil and you're just scooping something up, that's what you're doing. So try it. Okay, Jackie's is about to be ready. And there we go. Turn this off. And breakfast is served. All right. Get the, the image real quick. And then we'll get a taste test. Okay, there you go. Looks great. See, is the egg still runny? Nope, a little jammy. Works, works for me. But mainly everyone came here for the pancakes, so let's cut a piece of the pancakes. Oh, some syrup. Fire, good way to get your fruits in. Have some cinnamon roll flavored syrup right here. Let's try it. 
try another piece. I would rather get maple syrup, so once that's out, I'm getting maple, real maple. Don't waste your time buying syrup, flavor syrup. Get actual maple syrup. Try the avocado. Try some of the egg. Yeah, I let, let it cook for a little bit too long. The yellow set. Mmm. It tastes like almost like a not fully cooked hard boiled egg. Some people like that, some people don't. Regardless who you are, I hope you all have a great day. Enjoy. Take care.